Hey everybody, this is Chris Glitzos, known as a wood tinkerer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It has been a slow 2016, 2016 starting. Anyway, uh, this thing has to do a little bit with economics, meaning my wife keeps on buying me bananas. And when you lay them on the side, you know exactly what happens. They do get bruised. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice little banana stand uh, to keep those bananas a little bit longer uh, without getting bruised. And today in my shop over here, it is snowing outside and it's roughly about 29 degrees. And I do have no heat, so just bear with me. And with no further ado, well, let's get started. <laughs> All right. <laughs> To make it a little bit more decorative for the kitchen, I decided to make a fish figure to hold a banana. And this is what I came up with. I made out these patterns that I'm gonna make the body more like three-dimensional, which I'm, in return, I'm gonna glue on to the body over here. Like everything else, <laughs> like uh, when we started this little thing with the YouTube, I always said there's always a lot of sanding. Well, here we go again. I'm getting ready to do it the old fashioned way. A lot of sanding to uh, soften up the uh, images. So here we go. Let's get started with actually a lot of sanding. <laughs> Hey, we've still been sanding for some time. The 2016 blizzard of the year, here down here in Virginia, is still going strong. It's still snowing outside. And uh, this fish is almost completed. I've sanded the pieces. They look nice and smooth. The only thing I don't have yet is a base. So when I get the base going, we'll put the base together and we'll get a couple of bananas and we'll give it a try. Uh, well, let's keep on sanding and uh, we'll be finished in a little while, all right? <laughs> now there is still plenty of glue in the eye. Take that. Hey, did I ever tell you about my fishing trip? Hey folks, I just want to show you something. Look at the catch of the day. Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> Okay, I took a liberty because I want to cut it in half. So I put a block against the fence. This way it guides it. So this way I could actually have a good half clean cut. Okay? I'm getting ready to cut some pallet wood. This is all pallet wood. I don't have any wood to do the base. So here we go.
took the liberty of actually gluing the fish and I'm gonna continue to build from here. Let's get started, okay? Hey, we're at the end of the build, and this is a nice little project to have. I had a lot of fun with it, and I'm also a little bit proud because for the first time I didn't have enough wood. This was all done out of my scrap bin box after the build of the uh, Time to Play clock. But the bottom end, I did have an old pallet laying around, so that was recycled. I do have some nice legs over here. Um, so actually it came out quite, quite nice. I want to do a little bit of fun shui on the base, but the beauty of it is when it comes down to bananas, well, there you go. So as long as they stay hanging, they'll stay nice and right. And if you have it in the mood for one, well, <laughs> this is the best part about it is actually eating it but because this banana is giving me a little bit of a hard time unfortunately so it's not going to look too good but I'm enjoying it hope you enjoy it too if you like this video please subscribe there'll be many more to come in the meantime everybody thank you very much for joining us and by the way that cat that was Harry uh, Harry liked to keep me some company. He actually wanted to eat the fish. Well, he didn't get much of a chance to eat the fish, but he did try. But thank you anyway. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>